adorable little demi breads, little crusty Italian or French bread. Cut the tops off and then scoop out the guts. You gotta make room in there because we're gonna stuff the bread. And so it's sort of like um, a, a bread pizza. Now I have some fresh ricotta cheese here. I just mixed in some thyme, a little pinch of salt and pepper, and then add a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg. Stir that up. Then fill up the bottom half of your bread with a little bit of that. I know, you're in already, right? It's like bread lasagna. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna top that with some of our Italian sausage with sweet fennel. Let's put these over here because we're gonna build this and then wrap it. It's sort of mesmerizing, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't know sausage could be entertaining like that. You're very talented, sausage. We are confident you're gonna be equally delicious. So I talk to my food. I'm sure you have hobbies. <laughs> uh, then you pile up your broccoli rabe with the garlic and the fresh chili peppers. Yeah. Oh, you're getting sexy now. <laughs> I think food tastes better if you give it a little pep talk before you eat it. <laughs> then pile on a little provolone cheese, a little shredded provolone. <laughs> then you wrap these guys up in a little foil. You give them a little blankie and throw them into a hot oven. So they're a great make ahead. And then before you're ready to hit the road or serve them up, throw them in the oven till they're hot through and the bread's nice and crusty. We got some in there working. 375 or so. And then depending on how cold the sandwich is, if, you've, if you're taking them out of the refrigerator, it'll probably take you a good 20 to 30 minutes. If they're from room temperature, it'll take less than that, probably half that time. Okay, unwrap these guys. Look how good he looks. Yeah, now you're into the provolone, aren't you? <laughs> and then you slice them into little wedges. 